to the map, there's a sewage drain near the watchtower. And look out for searchlights. Watchtower and look out for searchlights. Rookies think they're goddamn John Rambo. Where the fuck did McCall get those fools from anyway? Wherever it was, he sure assembled one hell of a crew. of number 13. Oh, the mongoose will surely take care of him. So let's not bother number one with this problem. In any case, 13 has no power to disrupt the plan. The men are standing by, General Standwell. He's been causing quite a rush since his resurrection. But our first maneuvers are going ahead as planned. I admire your optimism. Perfect. Now find McCall's tent and plant the bug. Oh, I remember. They 
you were always competing. Bring him back to me. Whatever happened to him? I think General Carrington hired him. That was the last I heard. I got it! Fly! His name was Jason Fly! Hey, Fly! I'm out on leave tonight, so don't make me look bad while I'm out. Just because you won yesterday's exercise doesn't make you a hero around here. Steve Rowland. The man whose identity I took. You can fly, you can hide. You can close your mind, but I'm still on the road. Trying to escape the prison in my mind. I've seen you, you within my dreams. You see, fed by a me. Chili. Which ten of you sleeping in again? Yours.
Apparently, McCall's in the same tent he used in Desert Storm. That should give you an idea of what it looks like. Plant the bug behind the intercom. No one can see us here. You want one? No thanks. Saving your lungs for the maneuvers? Yeah, I can't wait for the action to start. Ah, it's just a simulation, you know. I have a feeling there'll be more to it than we expect. Gather round, gentlemen. This is number 11. Do you read me? Affirmative. Go ahead, number three. Good evening, number one. President Galbrain still believes in a simulated state of war and has just authorized the spads to supervise the army during the maneuvers. Over. Good. Number five. I'll be receiving the list of those supporting the cause tomorrow. Number nine. Arms shipment will arrive tonight. My men are eager to serve the cause. Over. Excellent. What about number 13? I have his military file here. I removed it from the Pentagon to block the FBI's investigation. Good. As for number 17, no need to continue the search. I have something here that she will definitely come and claim. This meeting is adjourned, gentlemen. Good night. I'll walk you out. Privileged to meet you, Colonel McCall. He's even more impatient than his men, isn't he, Colonel? Very perceptive of you, General. <laughs> <laughs> for the maneuvers? Yeah, I can't wait for the action to start. Ah, it's just a simulation, you know. I have a feeling there'll be more to it than we expect. Gather round, gentlemen. This is number 11. Do you read me? Affirmative. Go ahead, number three. Hello! Good evening, number one. President Galvin still believes in a similar state of war and has just authorized the... That's the Super Bowl. Plant the bug behind the intercom. No one can see us here. You want one? No thanks. 
Saving your lungs for the maneuvers? Yeah, I can't wait for the action to start. Ah, it's just a simulation, you know. I have a feeling there'll be more to it than we expect. Get around, gentlemen. This is number 11. Do you read me? Affirmative. Go ahead, number three. Good evening, Allah! number one. President Donald is still the state of war and has just authorized his dads to supervise the army ah! during the maneuver. <laughs> Plant the bug behind the intercom. No one can see us here. You want one? No thanks. Saving your lungs for the maneuvers? Yeah, I can't wait for the action to start. Ah, it's just a simulation, you know. I have a feeling there'll be more to it than we expect. Get around, gentlemen. This is number 11. Do you read me? Good evening, number one. President Galbrain still believes in a simulated state of war and has just authorized the SPADs to supervise the army during the maneuvers. Over. Good. Number five. I'll be receiving the list of those supporting the cause tomorrow. Number nine will have to be at the plaza. Over. Number eleven. The arms shipment will arrive tonight. My men are eager to serve the cause. Over. Excellent. What about number 13? I have his military file here. I removed it from the Pentagon to block the FBI's investigation. Good. As for number 17, no need to continue the search. I have something here that she will definitely come and claim. This meeting is adjourned, gentlemen. Good night. I'll walk you out. Privileged to meet you, Colonel McCall. He's even more impatient than his men, isn't he, Colonel? Very perceptive of you, General. <laughs> <laughs> I just got all that on tape. Now find Roland's file. You can blow this thing wide open. Hello? I don't know where McCall plans to send his stock of weapons, but we're going to blow it up.
fucking see us here. Want one? No thanks. Saving your lungs for the maneuvers? Yeah, I can't wait for the action to start. That's just a situation, you know. I have a feeling there'll be more to it than we expect. Get around, gentlemen. This is number 11. Do you read me? Affirmative. Go ahead, number three. Good evening, number one. President Galbraith still believes in a simulated state of war and has just authorized the spads to supervise the army during the maneuvers. Over. Good. Number five. I'll be receiving the list of those supporting the cause tomorrow. Number nine. shipment will arrive tonight. My men are eager to serve the cause. Over. Excellent. What about number 13? I have his military file here. I removed it from the Pentagon to block the FBI's investigation. Good. As for number 17, no need to continue this search. I have something here that she will definitely come and claim. This meeting is adjourned, gentlemen. Good night. I'll walk you out. Privileged to meet you, Colonel McCall. He's even more impatient than his men, isn't he, Colonel? Very perceptive of you, General. <laughs> I just got all that on tape. Now find Roland's file. You can blow this thing wide open. I don't know where McCall plans to send his stock of weapons, but we're going to blow it up.
plant the bug behind the intercom. No one can see us here. Wrong one. No thanks. Saving your lungs for the maneuvers? Yeah, I can't wait for the action to start. Nah, it's just a simulation, you know. I have a feeling there'll be more to it than we expect. Gather round, gentlemen. This is number 11. Do you read me? Affirmative. Go ahead, number three. Good evening, number one. President Galbraith still believes in a simulated state of war and has just authorized the SPADs to supervise the army during the maneuvers. Over. Good. Number five. I'll be receiving the list of those supporting the cause tomorrow. Number nine. Number 11. The arms shipment will arrive tonight. My men are eager to serve the cause. Over. Excellent. What about number 13? I have his military file here. I removed it from the Pentagon to block the FBI's investigation. Good. As for number 17, no need to continue the search. I have something here that she will definitely come and claim. This meeting is adjourned. I'll walk you out. It's a privilege to meet you, Colonel McCall. He's even more impatient than his men, isn't he, Colonel? Very perceptive of you, General. <laughs> <laughs> I just got all that on tape. Now find Roland's file. You can blow what this the... thing wide open.
Nice work. Now get back to the boat. What the hell's going on? I told him not to smoke. <laughs>
bad news. The spaz found the boat. I Find swear, Colonel. Out. Yes, sir, Colonel! Son of a bitch, he's gonna pay. Pay for this. Destroy him! Thirteen! Can you hear me? Number one underestimated your skills. He wants to reintegrate you into the group. Drop your weapon, man! Let's talk about this! Why did they stop loading? You hear that explosion earlier? Apparently Steve Rowland did it. What? I thought he was killed in action. Yeah, that's weird. I figured I'd take her out to some romantics.
Reporting is ordered, Captain. I don't want to be disturbed for the next 15 minutes. Yes, sir, Captain. This is number seven. I repeat, this is number seven. This is number one. Over. I moved up the USS Patriot's departure for the protection of the shipment. The Spatz camp has suffered heavy losses. Number 11 is no longer with us. the man who answers my call and we'll finally figure out who number one really is. signal. Number 17? Hello? Number 17? I can't read you. Number one. I was so close. I just have to remember his face. USS Patriot, report your destination. Over. Destination Maryland aboard Resolute AFDM-10, over. Copy that. Out. Outer deck submerged. Four and a half submerged. 
Maintain heading 12 degrees. Aye, aye. Here's a nice spot to stow away. Close all hatches, and escort me to the torpedo chamber. You, neutralize the intruder. Never make it out alive, Roland. We'll both blow up with the missiles. I'd rather die here than tell number one we failed.
What are they doing in there? We've got less than an hour to unload everything. We've lost. Jones, do you read me? I'm just leaving the airport now. Carrington's is taking it from here. He'll pick you up outside Hangar 33. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bad place to be. I better turn back. <laughs> 